Hello and welcome to Oh, that's anime we watch. A W W. That's where the show. Uh, it's the show where Sam and DJ. Yes, that's that guy. That's, uh, I'm all, I'm DJ. And we're going through the entire medium of anime, trying to watch as many series and movies as we can based on your recommendation and recommendation of others. And we bring on friends to talk about it. So this week we're diving into One Punch Man. It's yes. The one that everyone's been talking about for... It's like Attack on Titan or One Punch Man. That's all I've heard for a very long time before My Hero Academia came out. Yeah. So it's very cool that we were able to hop into this and uh, we're going to review it with a very special guest, Mr. Matt Acevedo. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, uh, the show, and I'm excited to talk about it with y'all. Hell yeah. So for the people who may not be familiar with your work, uh, where would they know you from? Um, yeah, so I've done a lot of con- uh, like hosting with uh, like Geek and Sundry, Hyper RPG, and I've done like freelance hosting for like Funimation and Nintendo and stuff. Um, so um, yeah, so like you'll see me there, and I still do stuff with like Hyper RPG, and I'm on a Warhammer 40k show there, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, so I do that. I have a couple podcasts too that we do. Um, like we have Ultimate Fictional Character podcast on Zeitgeist, and a video game podcast called Hit Points that's also on Zeitgeist. So. I'm just doing stuff, you know, I'm doing yeah. it all. And um, yeah. so uh, quick question. When did you get into One Punch Man? Was it I'll get into the history of the series in just a second. But did you were you a reader or did you catch it when it was airing live a couple years I, ago? I started uh, watching it when it came out in like 2015, uh, when it came out um, in anime form. Uh, I heard about it. I heard great things about it. And I just kind of dove in. I, I watch a lot of anime, so I'm always kind of like. You know, when it's, I think this came out in spring of 2015. So, like, I like to watch to see, you know, I watch the first couple episodes of most of the anime that come out and then, like, which one I'm going to stick with. And this is definitely one of those that I stuck with. So, so Matt, what would you say is one of your favorite moments from the series? Um, I really like the season one finale fight with that, uh, that I think it's not Genos, but the, the bad guy who's like in the giant alien spaceship and like he's, he goes all out and Saitama's like, Oh, I guess I gotta go a little more serious. Yeah. <laughs> and he just does a serious punch <laughs> <laughs> for, for once in his life. <laughs> but like, I like that that character, the alien was also doing what Saitama's doing. He's just like got so bored with, uh, you know, with being the strongest one and he, he dies happy because he <laughs> finds someone who's stronger than him you know <laughs> mm-hmm. that's so funny do we ever um find out like uh Saitama's real origin or like why his powers work the way that they do yeah because they give the, yeah. they give the explanation of you know he does the however many squats however hundred, many hundred 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 and hundred. it's like and you don't use your no, air conditioning or no that's, that's just normal <laughs> strength training. It's not even exceptional. Why are you? So I'm kind of hoping that that's it. I'm hoping that's the only explanation we ever get. Same. Yeah, I think I think yeah, that's the only. And he, you know, it's just his workout regime. You know, the regime. Uh, so that's I great. Mean, that's, that's all it takes. I love you know? it. I love it because I. Lo- it's this concept that because when we first meet him in in the first episode, uh, there's a flashback to when he had his hair and he's a normal person, and even then he's able to rip out the entire insides of uh, Crab Lante through the eye hole. Shout out to yeah. Crab Lante. <laughs> uh, and so it's clearly <laughs> clearly it's not that workout that makes Saitama Saitama. But I like that he he doesn't even care enough to like really like look into. You know, maybe there's something else going on. Nope, doesn't matter. It's just this is this is the way this guy is. And theoretically, I guess if you also do that workout, you might also be able to punch a giant into a puddle. There's definitely fans out there that have done the workout. And yeah, you realize it's yeah. not it's not a bad workout. It yeah. probably sh- you should have you should <laughs> remix what you do. Yeah, and if you start <laughs> coughing up blood, you maybe maybe take a break. If your bones start making clicky clack sounds, you should maybe slow down. But hey. <laughs> What do I know? Uh, or get some mallets and play them like a xylophone, you know? There exactly. You go. Easy yeah. peasy. <laughs> Cartoons do it. It must be. It must work. Um, I do want to say in the first four episodes uh, that we watched, yes. uh, favorite moment was Saitama arriving to help fight this like mosquito mm-hmm. queen. Oh, yeah. And uh, he's trying to catch the mosquito and he can't. That's the one thing that keeps getting away from yeah. him. And uh, it's when he shows up and he, he makes a little joke to himself or to Genos and he goes, but <laughs> he just whispered it. He whispers it under his breath. And it seemed like, was that the animator that did that? Cause it's such a light humor. It's yeah. such out of context. Cause I, it's a really good juxtaposition for everything else that's happening in the world that he can't take it seriously because 
what's the point? Like every no. time he fights, it's, it's it, there's no reason to. And you do get like like you said in the in the season finale, you get him feeling something and having to try harder. And you get that in the first episode in a dream in sequence, a dream, yeah. Uh, yeah, with the mole people, which is like it's a bummer that it actually didn't work out because well, actually it's not a bummer because they said they'd already killed seventy percent of the global <laughs> population. So you're like. Ah! <laughs> It's okay if we fix this. If this one gets turned back, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one ends up being a dream. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there's so many. Uh, like I already said, it. You know, Carnage, Kabuto, and uh, the giant. We, we talked about the giant. We didn't talk about the beast though. The, uh, the uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. The the lo- gigantic lion along mm. with uh, metal gorilla yep. and uh, <laughs> metal gorilla gets away. I think he gets. He a, does, yeah, but yeah. he doesn't have arms or legs. Yeah. and but he does make a little call to his boss with the <laughs> thing. I, <laughs> And I like that they show the power lo- levels of Genos being similar mm-hmm. to Saitama, where he's like clearly like Saitama slaps in a person and they just their whole body explodes. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. you get um, I like that when he blows up a whole mountain fortress of where the uh, evolution the ev- not evolutionists yeah. but the was it the House of Evolution that's yeah. where they were being held and he just annihilates not just the building but the mountain it's attached to as well. Yeah, I like yeah. that there are there's similar power levels. It is crazy that Saitama is this powerful yeah. and it's unheard of, but there are still people who could take on pretty big threats. Yep. Yeah, for sure, man. So Matt. What would you say is like the biggest appeal for One Punch Man, but not for anime fans? If you ran into someone, regular Joe, they've Mm -hmm. watched The Simpsons. They've watched The Family Guy. They like animated stuff. What would you say is the biggest uh, appeal for a general audience to come and check out One Punch Man? I think that especially for Western audiences, it's, you know, the fact that we're we're so immersed with all these superheroes like content and things like Superman and stuff like that, where this is kind of like a commentary on our genre over here and how, you know, what if like, you know, what if like Superman got bored or like what if he like, you know, he just doesn't feel fulfilled. It it feels like it's just making like just a comment on how these people keep keep getting stronger and stronger in our, you know, everyday comic books. But and like the Saitama just he he just actually feels like well what's the point of this like you know i think if you like superhero shit content uh if you like uh you know if you're into maybe you don't like superman this is kind of making fun of that a little bit too you know instead of like going the evil route like an injustice video game or something like making like yeah. if like absolute power corrupts absolutely it's like no maybe it doesn't but it just doesn't challenge you to be a better person yeah <laughs> maybe it doesn't make you evil if you're unmotivated, you're just going to be the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, like there's a little bit when they're running, it's like, how do you get to places on time? Because you run so, uh, run so you know, you, if you just run places, he's like, oh, yeah, I don't get there on time. Yeah. I'm late all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, he I, doesn't I, care. <laughs> right? I just, I honestly think that this is like a, an easy one for people who've never seen, uh, watched the medium before. You know, I think it's a nice, easy way into it. Um, this, I also think My Hero is another one that's like an easy way into anime i'm really glad we watched that first because that was just such a nice transition where it's like oh the world here feels lived in i will say like i mean there are some negative parts of like my hero in the sense of um like i I wouldn't want to live in that world you kind of feel Mm -hmm. that with some Mm -hmm. like superhero properties but compared to one punch man i'd I'd so live in my my hero hero world 80 percent of people have superpowers 80 percent of the global (laughs) population has super i mean i'd have to have something yeah yeah, yeah. just one thing i I think of the stuff we've watched this might be one of the most accessible man i think you're right i think this might be one of the most accessible things we've watched because even like when i when you try to pitch somebody uh to get them into comics there's certain yeah. there's certain parts of comics narrative storytelling that are u- unique to that medium mm-hmm. that people have to like get work used around to. and there's and there's some of that in my hero and there's some of that in other stuff like one punch man is very i think one punch man and cowboy bebop were the most mm, like yeah. just just a just a straight understandable easy to access narrative um without a lot of like the in- internal monologues or the you know what I mean over explaining of stuff <clears throat> that's been a bit of a a hump that we need to get over yeah when a little bit of anime with people like in my hero to save money on animation clearly or yeah. making it more understandable for younger audiences you have people explain every individual's point of view and then yeah. me explaining it sometimes and you're like oh my god uh. sometimes that's just filler too man like one piece has a bad thing right now 
because they're so close to the manga that there it's just like way long explanations of what just happened and and way long facial expressions because they're so close they're like we need to stretch this out you know it was a similar thing when i was uh when i was young my first act my first exposure to anime was dragon ball and i kind of checked out when he was on that dragon bridge for like it's like how <laughs> long is he gonna be running on this I want to see him fight Frieza. What's happening right now? <laughs> no, you don't get it. Yeah. Um, no, it's um, it's a pretty. This is a pretty solid show, and I'd give it because we like to rate out of ten. Yeah, I'd give this a solid like nine out of ten. I think Agreed. like I'm I'm interested, like DJ has mentioned, how the longevity of the idea of like if you have someone who is unbeatable, yeah. you're gonna have to come up with threats that are more difficult, so he has to try. But yeah. I do like that they're flushing out the world around him. Uh, I, I like all the other uh, S-list, uh, S-class heroes and A-class and uh, Moomin Rider once again. I feel like he's going to get the big win of the whole series. <laughs> we'll man. see. Yeah. Uh, when we get the um, the well, uh, the the power suit people, where he had yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. that was a good bit too. That their leader has a really thick skull, so he's not mm-hmm. dying. He's like, yeah. "Fine, I'll get a job. Jesus, I will. <laughs> fine, I'll do it." Um, but there's just a lot of good humor in this. And Moomin Rider, I hope he gets his due. But uh, Matt, what would you give this out of ten? This this series. Oh man, uh, I would give it an eight because uh, because I think the last season what because it's not it's gonna be. I think it deserves a nine, but I I feel like. Once we get that second half of this season that we're supposed to get, uh, it will be it will feel more fulfilling, you know, like feel like that season at least. So as of now, it's an eight, uh, but I think once it's like the next season comes out, it'll be back to a nine for sure. Awesome, hell yeah, uh, Matt. Where can people find you? If they Guys, were um, you can find me, yeah, at, at the Matt Acevedo on all socials, um, and come hang out, come check out, uh, you know, come come uh, check out UFC Pod. We talk to things. Like about like characters and stuff, so come check it out. Awesome, pretty cool. Hey, if uh, you guys go support Matt, he's a good boy, and make sure you check out all of our other all content because we've watched a mini a show. We have one more next week. If you go to our Patreon right now, you can vote on what we're gonna watch. It could be the My Hero Academia movie. We have to find out where we can all watch that. That'll be tough. Or yeah. we could watch Attack on Titan. That could also be good. That's very popular, and I know people oh, yeah. like it, or they like it to an extent. Mm-hmm. So you guys just let us know what you guys are into, and uh, we can make that vote. Make sure you listen to this and you can watch this you can rate it you can subscribe but most of all please share it and follow me at sam basher me at dj talks trash and only stupid answers yeah. at uh, twitter oh at only stupid answers yeah yank out the vowels were stupid we were so much better at the other two shows yeah. we already recorded <laughs> today but actually before we go we want to hear from you guys we had vanny j and echo spider send in their thoughts on the series and also they answer a very important question i watched the anime maybe a few years ago some of the funnier parts of the, the anime is when it's like the most mundane aspects of it but then it's really cool contrast with the fighting and the action and the animation style i think that that really gives it a really cool aesthetic and then kind of keeps you involved in the story i actually started watching one punch man when it first came out i watched it weekly which was definitely a different experience than binging it now my opinion is pretty much the same i think it's great i think it's funny i think it's smart i think it does a really good job of playing with the shonen genre and really playing with the tropes of that genre but at the same time it really has a lot of characters that have a lot of heart i might turn into like some kind of coffee cup or like a latte person my superpower would be kind of like a boost for other heroes or other people just give them a little speed boost or a caffeine boost like energy boost so this is kind of cheating a little bit but i was thinking that if i were to be hello i was thinking if i were to be a like super villain in this world it would be something really crazy right and then i was thinking about my favorite food I think you could make a really outrageous fruit monstrosity in this world. Big pineapple head, big watermelon body, shoots out really highly concentrated lemon juice acid that for some reason burns down things because of course it does. Well, that was pretty cool, guys. Thank you so much. And we want to hear your thoughts on next week's one, so make sure you check out our anime raffle. Enter it when it goes live so that we can pick you, please. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.